right, hello everyone. Today our dance is called Boshret Kir, and it is from uh, the Middle East. So a lot of the words, the song, the, the dance, some of the moves that we have put together are Middle Eastern or Arabic. So it's, it's part of our multicultural preview and we're excited to do it with you today. A little different than we typically do it, we're gonna be doing the actual dance with a class. So they're gonna be behind the camera and we'll be showing you the parts of the dance and the dance itself in front of the camera. So bear with us, it might be a little different than we're used to, but regardless, it's gonna be fun. This song is fast paced. It is also a little out of the norm because it doesn't have a, se a specific sequence. It jumps around a little bit. So just do your best to follow along with me and Mr. V and it's gonna be a blast. A couple of things that we are uh, pointing out before we teach the dance is perseverance. So the word means that we're gonna try and we're gonna never give up. And this song is a perfect song or dance to use with the word perseverance because it means never give up. It means, you know, things might be difficult, we might not catch on the first time we do it, but we're never gonna give up because every time we do it, we're gonna get better and better and better. Just like in math or reading, writing, science, all of your in-class subjects, you have to persevere because the first time you're, you're presented with a new topic, you're not gonna be perfect at it, but you practice and you practice and you practice until you get it right. Just like with any other sport as well. Basketball, volleyball, football, soccer. Nobody is a professional the first time they, they step on a court or a field or a hockey rink, whatever it may be. So perseverance is what we want you to keep in mind. We never want to see you give up. If you mess up, that's okay. We might mess up also. We're going to keep our eyes on me and Mr. V and just keep, keep trying. Uh, the other things we're going to talk about today are our heart rate and how it's going to go up. So during any kind of exercise, there are two things that we want to we want to pay attention to. You can tell somebody has just worked out by the sweat on their forehead. Sometimes their armpits are sweating. Uh, our heart rate is going to increase, and you're also going to see them out of breath. So the two physical ones that you can look is being out of breath and the sweat. And then the other things that you can feel but you might not see is your heart rate, your lungs, and sore muscles. So if it's push-ups that you're doing, your arms might be sore. If it's a wall sit that you're going to be doing or running, your legs might be sore. And in today's uh, dance, there is a part where we're hopping on one foot for a period of time. We're going to do a lot of jumps. Your legs might get sore. That means you're exercising. And those are signs of being physically active. So just, yeah, physically being tired, your body, your heart rate, it's gonna push you past that, uh, that comfortable zone. And that's, that's where growth happens. That's where you get stronger. So that's our goal today. Um, and hey, if you're feeling adventurous, maybe you can go on YouTube, you can press this, you can press and play this song a few times. And I guarantee it, it's gonna be a good workout. I hope you enjoy it. And the next time you see us will be when, after we've already talked to our class here, and when we're going over the steps. So it, it'll be on Brian PE channel by next week. You'll be able to play it. And if you want to teach your parents or you want to teach your siblings, you can you'll be more confident and you'll be ready to teach somebody the dance. All right. All right, boys and girls, we have a surprise for some for all of you, but a special surprise for some of you too, because it's so cool and I know that when they used to play Colombian music for me back home but when I was a kid I was so proud because I'm from Colombia and I used to get so proud and I loved it so some kids actually that we have here their culture has this music and it's awesome we're gonna be doing a song called I and I hope I don't mess it up because I don't speak Arabic it's an Arabic song we're starting out with our cultural week starting today and then next week we're gonna be doing Hispanic Heritage Week we're going to have some Spanish songs. Uh, I'll try my best to pronounce it right. Mwafek. Boshre Her. So we're going to Boshre Her. Boshre, Boshre Her. I try my best. So that's what that means is a good omen. It means something good is going to happen. And the song 
is about somebody that wrote wrote it for the country of Egypt. At the, at, in those days, Egypt was having a little bit of problems with politics, and they this this guy named Hussein Al Jazmi he sang this song for Egypt to get all their people together to come together and vote for a new president. So he was, it's a very positive song, it's a very happy song, and it's such an upbeat song, it's become one of my favorites. And I'm sure Miss Blevins loves it too. So, we're gonna start with the parts of the song, part one, it has five parts. I hope you back at home are paying attention because this is not an easy song. It is hard, so you have to pay attention. Part, five parts, part one goes like this. Part one, what you're going to do is, you're going to take your hands on your waist. This is the easiest part. You're going to step away from your da, then you're going to shake, shake, shake. You're going to go back to your da, shake, shake, shake. Now, however you shake, you choose how to do it. I know that I love, I was in Dubai last year, and we went and saw belly dancers, and they were so awesome, and there were some other guys that dance, and they do a lot of turning, and a lot of turning, so, we're gonna do some of that. So if you wanna shake your shoulders, that's fine. If you wanna look like a belly dancer, that's fine. You do it however it's fun for you. So that part, part one, we're not gonna do it because it's too easy, all right? It's just step, shake, 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 step, and shake, shake, shake. And we're gonna do that a few times. Part two is the hardest part. Part two, you really have to focus. And your cue, for when that's coming in the dance is I'm gonna say ready. When I say ready, that means part two is coming up because it's the hardest part. And I have to remind you we're about to do that part. So part two goes like this. Pay attention and we're gonna do it together in a second. So you're going to crisscross your legs, back to your dot, jump, 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 jump. It's four jumps. Once you get to that other side, once you get to this side and you do the four jumps, you're going to take your inside foot and you're gonna kick, cross, kick together, kick, cross, kick together. And then, because we're away from our dot, we have to go back by doing the same thing. So we're gonna criss, cross, back on your dot and jump, 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 jump. And then we're gonna do the kicks again. The inside foot is gonna go kick, to cross, kick, together, kick, cross, kick, together. All right, everybody, stand up. I hope you at home, you know that we have kids behind me right now, behind us, they are doing this with you right now. They are part of this e-learning class, so they're standing, so you need to stand, because I don't see any kids right here, fifth graders, that are doing any lazy stuff, so you need to stand up as well. So here we go. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, and crisscross. Oh, Back to your dot and jump, 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 jump. Kick, cross, kick together. Kick, cross, kick together. Crisscross. Back to your dot and jump, 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 jump. Kick, 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 and kick. Have a seat. Good job. That is the hardest part. If you can do that, you can do all the other parts. Remember, in this song, it takes perseverance. We're gonna probably have time to maybe do it once and maybe a, a second time. I bet you all the other classes, even kindergarten, has agreed that the second time you do something, you get a little bit better. And if you try something again and you persevere and you try it a third time, you get a little bit better and a little bit better until you finally master anything. Math, science, if you want to read a book, just do a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and then you say, wow, I read the whole entire thing, little by little. So persevere. So part three goes like this. Part three, you're going to take and you're going to, because the song was written for Egypt, we're going to take our Egyptian hands and we're going to do this, and then we're going to shake our shoulders. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna take our belly dancer hand and we're gonna turn one time around. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're facing us again. So stand up, let's try it. Let me see if you're home standing up because I don't want to see no couch potatoes. No couch potatoes, stand up. This is time to try it now. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a seat. That was part three. Now we're going to do part four. Part four. Okay. Part four. After we do that part, we are going to take and we are going to step and then bring our feet together. Step together, then step together, step together. Turn, 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 turn. We're going to pretend that all the people from Egypt came together, and they all voted, and they got a new president, and everyone's celebrating, everyone is happy, so we're going to jump, 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 one time around, okay? All right, stand up, let's try it. It's time for you to try it out, so back home, I hope you are standing, ready to go back up a little bit so we can see you, just like we're doing. All right, here it goes, here it goes. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and step together, step together, step together, step together, turn, 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 turn. Yes, That's good. easy stuff, have a seat. Part five is the last part of the dance. It is one of my favorite parts of the dance because the music is sounding a certain way and it's such a cool way with the rhythm and this, this part of the dance is really cool. So watch, part five, we only do it one time in the whole song, one time. Part five, who plays soccer? All right, hands down. Remember last year we talked about when we pass a ball in soccer, we use the inside of our foot. So we're gonna be swinging our foot like we're passing the ball like this. Like this, okay? And we're gonna do hop, pass, hop, pass, hop, pass, hop, pass, hop, pass, hop, pass, hop, pass. Then you're gonna take your piano hands and you're gonna go one, two, three, up, five, six, seven, up, and one, two, three, up, and five, six, seven, up. And you'll understand, because when you hear the, the beat of the music, you'll understand why we do that. It comes really well together with the music, okay? Stand up, let's try it. Let's see if everybody at home is paying attention and standing up and back up so we can see you. Yes, thank you. All right. Here we go. Ready? Get ready to hop and kick. I'm just gonna call it a kick. Hop, kick, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, and hop, kick. Hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick. Piano, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and piano, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Have a seat. So that is the whole song, five parts. Now, the pattern of the song is really, really hard. So it's very important that you back home and you kids right here at Brick and Mortar are really focused and your eyes are on myself or Miss Blevin. Because it's not like the, the, the magic where we know we do part one, then we do part two, then we do part one, then we do part two. It, that's easy. But the pattern in this song, it changes. So you really have to watch us. We've done it like 20 or 30 times already. That's why we're better at it. It took us two weeks of perseverance and trying a second, a third, a fourth, a 20th time to get better at it. Hello, hello, hello. So make sure that you are watching us. We're gonna do the whole dance without the music and then we're gonna put the music on. Stand up. Here we go. Remember, when I say ready, it means you're doing part two. Part two, it means the hard part. I'm just reminding you to be ready because that's the hard part. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and step. And 
Shake, 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 and back. Together. Shake, shake, shake. Step. Together. Shake, 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 and back. Together. Shake, shake, shake. Step. Together. Shake, 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 and back. Together. Shake, shake, shake. Then I'm gonna say, ready! We're gonna go to part two. Ready, go! One, two, three, four, jump, 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 kick, 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 kick. Again, one, two, three, four, jump, 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 and kick, 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 and kick. And now part three. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step. Step together, step together, step together, step together, turn, 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 turn. Part five. Hop, kick, 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 and piano. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Looking good. All right, so remember, what part do we do when you hear Mr. V say, ready? Part two. That is the crossover and then jump, 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 kick, kick, all right? All right, get ready back home. You should be standing. You should have lots of room around you so we can watch you. Let's have, master, don't give up. Let's have some lose, fun. You lose pace, just keep moving, keep moving. Okay. Ready. Hands on your hips. Hands on your hips. Come on, man. Let's represent over here. Let's represent. Hey, 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 hey,
very, very nice. Have a seat, have a seat. Wait for Mr. B and Ms. Blevins to talk to you. Great job. I am proud of you all. I might come right back if we have time. We might do it a second time.